Hmm. I should probably make something for Valentine's Day, but what exactly? I could do Hat in Time Part 2. Nah. What about Doom with Animal Cry? Nah. What about Among Us? Nah. I know exactly what a game I need to cover. What am I doing with my life? Yeah, Funky Pup, a totally non-sexual dating game. Hey, what about the sex? <laughs> Honey Pup is an adult hybrid tunnel matching puzzle game that was developed and published by Honey Pot. It was released in January 19th of 2015. The game was funded through a Kickstarter campaign where it received over $15,000. Now, I do want to say that um, th there is quite a few scenes with uh, women being quite revealing in their outfits. I'm, nothing is gonna be NSFW, trust me, I've done the censoring. I would know. But just be ready that there are quite some revealing women in their outfits. But I mean, before we start that, I mean, I gotta find myself an outfit, you know? Gotta dress to impress. Beautiful as ever. So in Honey Pup, you control a person who's basically like me when trying to talk to a girl. Oh, hello, David. Oh, isn't it just a call? It got a good day. <laughs> I'm not even a girl, and neither is Raichu. What? What? M me? Yeah, you. I think I'm in love with your dress. Is that Bordeaux colored? Okay, maybe we can take a step back here. <laughs> My name is Kiyu. Nice to meet you. You mean like the letter? Nope, not like that at all. Look, dude, are you gonna be alright? Looks like you're having some trouble holding it together over there. Oh no, I just, um, I. I'm, um, you just, you just, yeah, that's what I thought. Darn it, well, I should probably go. It's like 12 a.m. and I'm like only 19. I'm like, come on, I gotta go to get my sleep. Or you could just stop being so weird about it. No, I need sleep. Unlike you, I'm an actual human being. Hmm, wait, you know what? This might actually work. Yeah. Yeah! Oh man, this is your lucky day, buddy! Listen, I gotta go, but we'll meet again real soon. Trust me. Night! Yeah, good night, whatever. Hey you, rise and shine, we've got work to do! I said, get up! Oh, man, I was sleeping. The best sleep. I bet you were. What, what the hell are you doing in my house? Get out, or I'm calling the police. Chill out for a second. You'll be glad I showed up. Don't you recognize this adorable face? <laughs> it's Kiyu from the bar. Yeah. But you had brown hair and definitely no wings. I especially remember the wing part. Clever disguise, right? I can change my hair any color I want. It's pretty sweet. I mean, it is better than my Asian disguise. So in this game, you get to meet the love fairy Q. Man, I wish I had a love fairy. The only thing I have is a Pikachu. And clones. Well, you guys ended up being more of a nuisance. So in this game, you have to date girls. What are you looking at me for? That, that's the whole point of the game. What, did you expect something else, huh? Basically, the game is a Connect 3 type of game, like Candy Crush, but with some different mechanics. First of all, your goal is to fill up the affection meter. When the bar is full, you've done it. Man, if only it was that easy in real life. 
Now, there are different icons. The heart increases your passion level. These are for moves. This is sentiment, which you can use to use date gifts. And then there are just, you know, the usual icons. Well, I mean, let's go ahead and meet our first girl. I mean, we can use this stocking for... Oh, that's how one of my friends knows where I live. And my phone number. And my... T I, you know, I should be scared. Ooh, I get to choose between a blonde and an Asian. Do I go... Blonde or Asian? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm a virgin, so I might take the, I might take both of them. Oh yeah, and each new girl you meet in these games have a little dialogue segment. I'm going to show these uh, so you can get how these characters are and how they react to stuff and all that. So uh, here's the first discussion scene in the game. Oh, Miss Yumi, I'm glad I ran into you. Have you had a chance to grade our exams yet? Uh, remind me what that was on again. You know, the conservation of whatever you call it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think those are on my desk. Somewhere. Oh, okay. Do you know when you might be able to get them back to us? Later. Next week, probably. I'm sure you did fine, Tiffany. You think? I hope so. I don't know, I was having trouble with some of the material. Do you know what we're going over next week? I'd like to try and get a head start this time. Next week? I don't know yet. Actually, I have a pounding headache right now. Can we do this later, please? Yeah, okay. Sorry to bother you, Miss Yumi. No, it's fine. I'll talk to you later. So this is Tiffany, the smart one, and of course the best waifu in the game. Now, Tiffany likes school and cheerleading. In Denmark, that would be what you call a streber. Whoa. Is this chick serious? That schoolgirl uniform is a little on the nose, don't you think? I mean, looks as normal as those Japanese cartoons. Oh. Oh. Cool. She's cute though. Blonde too, so, uh, bonus points. Okay. That gives me a Yahtzee. Look, I gotta note everything down on me. I gotta know who's the best waifu. I mean, Tiffany's already top spot, but... Oh yeah, don't worry. They can't see or hear me. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Wait, figment of my imagination? God, that's a really cool imagination I have. Plot twist. <laughs> nah, I'm crazy real. I just hid myself from everyone so I can give you advice on the sideline. Oh, thank you. God, I'm not my mushroom. Wait, does this miss make me insane? If I'm like talking to someone who's invisible? This is your classic girl next door situation. She's nice, so don't say anything to scare her off. I haven't seen you around here before. Are you starting this semester? I teach here. Professor Handsome, they call me. It says it right on my THD. Ignore the fact that there's a anti-PhD right next to it. <laughs> Come on, give me a break. Stop teasing me. Look, if I end up going here, you'll have to show me around. Yeah, I'd love that. It's really a beautiful campus, too. My name is Tiffany, by the way. It's nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. Tiffany, man, we did totally did not know that, didn't we? <laughs> no. So here we have a screen that you'll see quite a bit in the game. Let me explain the different stuff we have here. Talk with her, you talk with the girl. Simple as that. Now, of course, different stuff can happen. You can either question into stuff like her favorite Welsh name, City, like my favorite, which is. Yeah, whoever made that was a total masochist. You can also just have a discussion where you can learn more about the waifu's personality. And then she can quiz you on what you know of her. Like whether the fact that if you live in Australia, and how come you don't fall off the earth? Ask on a date. Well, you ask the girl on a date, which goes into the puzzles, which I already talked about. View inventory. If you've ever played an RPG, it's the same thing. I, I mean, you won't have useless scrap in there. I you you could technically count the waifu's underwears as useless scrap, but I mean, hey, it's proof that someone slept with you. <laughs> Just like I have proof from that time there was a girl that slept with me. Oh! This is not from a girl's. 
Girl Finder, the ultimate stalker app. Remember that Asian girl? Yeah, she's on your list. Check profile. Look, why do you need to know a person when your phone can tell you everything about them? That's why we have Facebook. That's why we have Twitter. That's why we have every single social media out there. They gotta get know who you are. And then there's purchase gifts. It's where you get date gifts, personal gifts, food, and a bunch of useful stuff that you'll need to make your dating adventures easier. Trust me, these make it way easier. So, for some reason, I decided not to date Tiffany, who is the best girl, and I moved on to stalk the Asian girl. I mean, everyone has their taste. So, moving on to Aiko, yeah, that's the Asian person. That's their name. Look, I know it's super cheesy, but like, come on, that's the name. So, we stumble upon Aiko in a park where she's talking to another character. Uh, good morning, Aiko. Oh, hey, Belly. What's wrong? Seems like something's bothering you. Yeah, life. <laughs> How are classes going? Uh, I don't want to talk about that. Mm, well, I think I have just the thing. I'm headed to the beach to work in a few poses. You should join me. Nothing like a little exercise to melt that stress away. Uh, not today. I'm just not feeling it. Will I at least be seeing you this weekend at the studio? I'll be there. I don't think I have anything else going on for once. Great! Can't wait. See you there. Dude. Bro. Asian chicks? Don't even get me started. I have, like, the worst case of yellow fever ever. Ever. Like a yellow plague. Mm, well, after the Dictionary of Medicine, you are severely screwed. This is a tough approach. She's kind of in a shitty mood, so say something stupid to try and cheer her up. It doesn't matter what. The stupider, the better. Oh my god, can someone get me game death in here? What am I supposed to do? Just say something stupid! Something stupid! No, not, not that. See, game dev, this is how you do it. God, I bloody hate these birds in this particular park. I want to kill them all. No, I like the birds. Shoot, plan B, plan B. Where's plan B? I, oh, I, I, I think I've eaten plan B. Uh, I mean, plan E should still be somewhere around. Wait. What happened to C and D then? Uh. Well. Well, let's say they transfer to ne the Netherlands. Damn! I'll have to go to Plan E then. Ha! <laughs> I'm only kidding. I just thought you were cute and I wanted to meet you. Oh! I look like a mess right now. I'm sure my hair is a disaster. Think you look like a mess? I'm just trying to relax, enjoy a little downtime between classes. I teach up at UOG. You know the place? It's like the only university in the city for some reason. Oh, so you've got that sexy teacher angle going up. Who wrote the script? I don't know about that. I have a couple students who might agree with you, though. <laughs> I'm glad you came over here. I needed a good laugh. The kids call me Miss Yumi, but you can call me Aiko. So this time I actually managed to date Aiko. How did I screw that up with Tiffany? I don't know. Now each date happens in a varied place, but there's not a lot I can say yet. There will be something happening with these days, more the fact that I'm going to be able to take one of them with me home. But that's not happening now, I mean, I'm still shocked that half of these girls want to go on a date with me now. I mean, weirdly, weirdly enough, that doesn't work in real life. Anyway, we saw that belly character earlier. I mean, and since my phone can stalk people, well, well, let's talk to her! In this discussion, we also get to meet the wonderful character known as Jessie. Are you serious? Oh, come on. Just try it on. It's going to look so cute. Try what on? There's nothing here. Come on. I saw it and I immediately thought of you. You're going to love it. I promise. Oh, my... All right, just make sure nobody else is around. Yeah, sure, the coast is clear. 
I, th I think she's blind not noticing me. A and that's coming from a person that has glasses. Which means I'm basically blind each day I wake up. <laughs> You're good. Jess, I can't wear this. What are you talking about? You look cute. Cute? Oh, stop. There's nothing wrong with a little skin. You can't keep all that boob to yourself, hun. It's not fair to the rest of the world. The world will be just fine without my... boobs. Yeah, but I won't. Besides, it wasn't cheap. So, you're stuck with it. So come on, let's go. I am not going anywhere in this. I'm changing back. Ugh, you are impossible. Enjoying the view? Oh yeah, I'm definitely enjoying the water back there. Can I dip in it? Quick, now's your chance. Before she goes to change, just say something, anything. Something, anything. Huh? Oh, jeez. Hi, sorry. Um, I'm so embarrassed right now. My friend made me put the stupid thing on. Sorry. One second. Let me go change. Oh, what, what bikini? I was looking at that palm tree. Man, nature is wonderful. <laughs> Somehow, I'm not so sure I believe that. It's a little revealing, don't you think? I don't want people to think I'm like that, you know? Oh, so, so you're not like that? Never mind that. You jerk. <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess it's not that bad. I mean, if you're really saying you like it. Oh, and hi. The person inside of the bikini you're talking to, her name is Belly. <laughs> so this is Belly, a fun way of saying Belly. Like the one Four had in that one movie they made, you know, Evonger's the final thingy thing thing. Belly is basically a calm girl who cares about spirituality and she likes yoga, so you know that's a pro. Now, Jessie. That, that was the entire thing, just... Anyways, on to Jessie's introduction. Hey, Lola. Oh, you bitch. You didn't tell me you were back in town. Hey, lover. Just got in a couple days ago. Missed you. Excuses. You know you're supposed to check in with me as soon as you hit the ground. <laughs> of course. What was I thinking? I'm sorry, honey. Won't happen again. That's more like it. How have you been, my darling? Staying out of trouble? Well, I try, but trouble has a hard time staying out of me. <laughs> so I take it work is good? Never better, but enough about me. What's going on, girl? Any new mischief to share? Ugh, where do I start? Hold that thought. Have a seat. I'm gonna go grab you a drink. I wanna hear all about it. Uh, I'd love to. But... Yeah, I've got an early day tomorrow. I just stopped in for a second. Ugh, oh, come on. You're not going to make me sit here and drink all by myself, are you? Rain check. I'll call you later this week. Girls night out all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here already. Love you, baby. Mwah. You know, at this point, people should probably notice that I'm, like, stalking all of them. <laughs> But plot convenience. Ooh, milf alert. Milf alert, milf alert, milf alert. Shut milf up, alert, milf alert. Looks like a total cougar, too. Wait, did you just call this woman a furry? I don't think you realize the gravity of the situation here. I, I, I'm sorry, I forgot how gravity works. Let me just. Yeah, it's, it's, it's still down. This is what separates the men from the boys. You've got to be aggressive. That nice guy sh** isn't gonna cut it. Ha, <laughs> I got this. How much for the pretzels besides you? How much you got? <laughs> How much does a pretzel cost? I don't believe I've had the pleasure of meeting you. The cute ones are always hiding. Hun, do me a favor and help me out with my empty glass. Pretty please. Sure will. Hey, get in there, Plum. Could you bring up some wine? Okay, we'll do. And here you go. Oh my. Now, what should we do about the fact that we're desperately attracted to each other? 
I mean, even though we're just men and I'm already stuck in three other people, uh, so I can bang them. Oh, you're desperately attracted to me? You're sweet. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna say that I'm not desperate, then I forgot the fact that I'm stalking three other girls. You haven't even asked my name yet. I'm more than just a pretty face, you know. Wait, you are? Oh, oh sorry, for forgot that I was sitting very close to you. That explains a lot. Most gentlemen your age know me as Misty, but you can call me Jessie. Misty? Oh no, it's the girl from Pokemon! So yeah, Jessie is kind of a laid-back mom who does the webcam. Uh, let's keep it at that. I, I don't know, I don't really like the fact that I have to pay her to get into her heart, but... Ugh, not even, you can't get it to everyone with passion. Anyways, here is Lola's discussion. Excuse me, miss? Yeah? I've been here for a while now. I'm still waiting to be helped. Oh, yeah, so my shift just ended. I'm pretty much out the door already. Um, I think someone else should be in any minute. I'm just looking to get a cappuccino. It only takes a second. I mean, it's more than a second, so... Are you serious? I should have left over 15 minutes ago, okay? I'm done. Wow, okay. Mmm, mmm, I love me some chocolate. <laughs> oh, well, I absolutely hate it. What, what is your point here? I'll have a tall glass of whatever she's serving. Know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, okay, yeah. One hot cocoa for you. Let's see. Considering what just went down, she's probably a little pissed off. Try to get on her good side. Open with something safe. Like, something she probably wants to hear. Ridiculous! I demand to see the manager for this poor woman. No, it's fine. Thanks for offering, but I'm not sure it would do much good. Wait, you're telling me that I acted as a Karen for nothing? Damn it. The nerve of some people, though. I mean, really, is a cup of coffee so much to ask? So sorry to inconvenience you. Have you been waiting here long too? Oh, I can't actually remember. I think I've been here for like five days by now. Hey David, you wanna go get some ginger? What is going on? Get out of my room. <laughs> Did you really just say that? I don't think I've ever heard that one before. I have to give you credit though. That's pretty brave. You don't hear that often enough. Is that your technique? Hitting on girls at the coffee shop? <laughs> Only if they're as cute as you. Oh, jeez, really? All right, you're good. I'll tell you what, Big Shot. You caught me in a good mood. I normally don't give in so easily, so consider yourself lucky. My name is Lola. Pleasure. So yeah, Lola. She's a stewardess. Busy. <laughs> Funny enough, this is just the character that will be actually mostly gone during the day. She loves coffee and clothes, and she's really insistent on traveling. Yeah, I've done enough traveling. I mean, I'm only gonna travel again when I can go to a YouTube con or something, but, um... Yeah, that's not gonna happen in a while. Anyway, on to Nico. Which is actually gonna be a bit more of a controversial pick for me, because I actually like her, even though she's kind of an introvert, and apparently that kind of destroys her character after what the internet says. Oh, and in this conversation, we also get to meet the character I hate the most in these games. Ugh. Audrey, can we leave now? Calm down, Nick. We just got here. Just got here? We've been here for at least an hour. Don't be such a downer. Loosen up a little. I'll buy you a drink. What do you want? I don't want anything. I'm not even old enough to drink. <laughs> they don't care. Okay. Oh my god. Why do you do this every This isn't fun. Everybody here is a complete douchebag. I told you I didn't want to come here and you dragged me anyway. Just like last time. Because you can't just sit in your room all day! You need to fucking exist or something! I don't sit in my room all day. Whatever! Go! Leave! Bye! Oh sh**! I was afraid we might run into 
one of these. Doesn't look like she's a big fan of people. But your weirdness might actually pay off here. Hmm. I never thought I'd say this to you, but just be yourself. Hola. Como esta? Cut my head. Don't beat yourself up over it. She was a lost cause to begin with. Plenty of fish in the sea. Let's see, how about... Wait, is she coming back over here? This ought to be interesting. Um, hey, you know what? It's Nikki. My name. Maybe I was a little bit quick to judge. Force of habit. Yeah, you were. Have you seen my report? To be honest, I'm shocked most of these ladies haven't run from me yet. Nikki, the girl that almost everyone who knows and has played Honey Pup hates for some reason. And yeah, I've checked the tier lists. Yeah, Nico is an introvert. And yet she's the one I can relate to the most. I mean, she gets dragged to parties. You know, she doesn't like parties. And I, I don't like parties. The only thing people want to do at a party is get drunk. And I don't, don't drink. Well, except for the prime taste of alcohol-free cider. But it's a shame because Nikio is just one of those characters that people hate. Even though I personally think that there are characters that should be hated way more than Nico, especially one of the next ones here. Yeah, remember the girl we just met? Yeah, that's the one I call the mega bitch. And even the game acknowledges the fact that she's a mega bitch. So say hello to our new Smash Bros. fighter, Audrey. Okay, so before I go on a wild rant, uh, here's the introduction discussion for Audrey. <laughs> what the f Of course you screwed it up! Again? That's exactly what you asked for! Are you joking? Bitch, do I look like I'm joking? How am I supposed to rock around like this? You're loco! This is how I always cut your nap! Who's talking, skank? No, bitch! My hair isn't dried out and reeking of smoke, okay? Whatever, ho. Why don't you go get knocked up again? You need to turn around and walk away. What's wrong? Did I hurt your whore feelings? Turn around and walk away. Gladly. At least I won't have to look at your whore face anymore. <laughs> whore ass bitch needs to learn. Ooh, she's a little feisty one, huh? This is what we refer to as a mega bitch. Confidence is key here. She has to know you're in charge and her bullshit isn't going to phase you. So whatever you do, just stay cool. Hey, can, can we just ignore this woman? I don't want to date someone that can bite my dick off. Gosh darn it, I don't have a really any choice, do I? In a minute, okay? I'm kind of taking a picture of you here. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's, I'm just gonna analyze the picture. Yep, my phone says you're a bitch. Uh, ew. What are you even doing at the mall anyway? Besides creeping on girls. Wow, someone finally notices the fact that I'm going around and creeping on girls. Why did they have to be the mega bitch? <laughs> at least you're honest. Well... You're going to have to do a lot better than that. Sorry. But you did put in effort, I guess. And you are kind of cute. I'll tell you what. If you're lucky, maybe we can go get high sometime. You down? I mean, yeah, let's go launch up into space. I'm ready. So yeah, Audrey, I couldn't hate anyone more than this girl in any of the games. No, like, there's only one character that I hate even more. But the game she is in at least acknowledges the fact that she's really annoying. Okay, let's go through a list of why I hate Audrey. Number one, she's a mega bitch. Number two, she manipulates people into buying her stuff. And she, she doesn't, you know, show affection back. Number three, drugs. Number four, yeah, I think the mega bitch already describes quite a lot of here. Well, anyways, on to the next girl. Yo, I 
didn't expect to see you here today, Tiffany. Yeah, my English Lit class was canceled. I'm trying to make good use of the time. Hey, listen. Thanks so much for watching Philip the other day. I know it was last minute. No, don't even mention it. I'd love to hang out with Billy. He's my little buddy. Did he give you any trouble? Nope, like an angel. An angel? Are you sure you were watching the right kid? <laughs> <laughs> I know I still owe you two, so don't worry. I should be getting my paycheck tomorrow. Shh, I won't hear of it. I was more than happy to help out. Nonsense. I'm not taking no for an answer. Late. <laughs> Have a good workout. Hey, get back here. This isn't over. Man, will you get a load of these two? I'd kill to have tits like that. I mean, aren't you a fairy? I mean, I don't know, don't you have a potion or something that could, like, do the job? Or, I mean, even get a boob job, but that also does the job. This chick is clearly out of your league, but there may be hope. She's probably looking for a decent guy because of that baby mama drama. So, just try not to be an ass for, like, five minutes. Oh, she's looking over this way. Showtime. Hey, are you finished with that machine? I have one set left to jam out. I mean, go ahead. Go ahead. It looks like you need it more than I do. So, just try not to be for like five minutes. Oh, sh shoot. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, hey, have I seen you on TV or what? Really? OMG, I've done a couple of local commercials, but I never thought I'd be recognized. You must be new here. I don't think we've met before, right? I like to think I know all the regulars here on a first name basis. You could say I'm a little obsessed with this place, I guess. <laughs> My name's Kiana. Will I be seeing you here more often? Yeah, I mean, if I just stop procrastinating on everything I make. So yeah, Kiana is cute and a single mother. Look. I can't make a funny bit about every single girl, okay? Because we've already met like eight characters by now. It gets hard to come up with funny stuff. Anyways, after a few dates, you get the fourth date. The fourth date is where you can bang the girl. The part of all of us perverts go for. But to do this, you need to date the girl at night. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with banging a girl during the day, but... Can you do you? When you successfully date a girl at four hearts, you take them to the bedroom and you get the banging, which involves matching symbols. So that's what they meant by moving with fast motion. I, I think I need to begin moving on and talking about the extra characters and the secret characters before this video gets blocked by YouTube. I mean, it most likely is gonna be, but I'm being optimistic. Hey, so have you wondered if you could bang Q? Well, you can. When you successfully bang a girl, Q will join the roster of girls. I mean, what can I say about Q? I mean, she's a fairy? I mean, you've already seen quite a bit of her. There are also three other hidden characters. One of them is Venus. Yep, you heard me right. Venus, the god of love. You get her by banging all characters, none including the two really hidden characters. She's kind of the final boss in this game, or more like the, the, the final obstacle. Speaking of the secret characters, do you like Neko Girls? Because I know my friend Swamp does, have you seen his Steam profile page? Well, you are in luck! Say hello to Momo, that's right, you can have your own cat slave, which you can bang! I mean, is this even legal? I mean, she is 18, so it is. But is this not for you? Well, what about screwing an alien board? Literally, one of the scenes you get is stuff with tentacles in. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything else. Did I mention how lewd this game is? Like, screwing an alien lewd. Jim, did you hear that? I just screwed an alien. You just screwed an alien. I just screwed an alien. Oh my god, was it a xenomorph? What the hell, Jim? So yeah, Honey Pup. To be honest, all the characters are unique and have unique traits and all that. And the dialogue itself is really well written. But how do you continue with a game like this? Do you make a sequel? No. You make a game with no NSFW images in it, and a tycoon game, and it's called Honey Camp Studio, which is an Eichel tycoon game where you control a, your own webcam studio. You thought they would make a sequel? <laughs> Oh my... <laughs> that has to be the best joke I heard today. Handcam Studio was released on April 4th, 2016, and compared to the first game, 
there is no NSFW. But I mean, you're still running something NSFW related. I mean, you know, the wonderful world of webcam studios. I am not going to explain it, just think Twitch, but NSFW. Anyway, this is an idle tycoon game. And guess who's your guide? That's right! It's your fairy Q! Q. So in this game, you need to gain an amount of followers before the end of 21 days. You do that by either buying followers or gaining followers via the girls. Speaking of which, the roster of girls this time is 18, the original cast from Honeybub plus 10 new girls. There isn't as much to say about these girls since uh, they only have a small description. However, all girls have a unique combination of kinks, which might please some of your current followers. There are extra kinks you can get from the shop. But let's say that this game does some um, good representation of some of the weirder fetishes out there. Like furries! We can, we can move on to the next segment. Now let me explain the different towers we have here. This is the Recruit HQ, where you recruit new girls for your services. Whenever you recruit a girl, you get to choose between three girls. Say, is the Recruitment HQ just a place where people are looking for NSFW jobs? And uh, why do you want to get a job for NSFW cams? Well, I mean, I, I want to do something that is not safe for window cleaners. You do know that it's not like that at all. It's something like this. Oh! Oh, very! Oh, a video! So how did he go with the job interview? He, he, it was... Educational. I'm gonna quickly go to the bathroom. Then you have the photo studios. <laughs> Gotta please those viewers! You have the camp studio where you earn money. These two buildings are used to upgrade your girls. Here's the spa, a place to calm your girls. And to the right we have the store, where this town sells all of the sex toys you need. And subscribe pillows. Yeah, the, the town has been in a bad shape since uh, the sex revolution. You also have the wine store and the sex shop, where you buy addictive stuff. Y yeah, see, some girls here have a smoking problem and drinking problem. Drink your problems away, red wine. The finest escape from reality. Basically, they will take more energy to do something if they don't have wine and cigs. I mean, drugs are quite good in this game. Yes, the department store is also some meetup for drug dealers because you can get cocaine from there. Did someone say cocaine? Hey, hey, get the hell out of here. When you are done with the 21 days, you get a trophy based on your follower amount. Yet, yeah, uh, see, the reason I'm censoring these is because they are all dicks. So yeah, I mean, this game is a fun distraction and quite addictive, but where do I get my normal honey pup content? Oh. What, what is it? Oh my god. Honey Pup 2 Double Date, released on February 8th, 2021. Yeah, this game adds a whole new central mechanic to the whole thing, thing but I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Let's start with talking about the story, because yeah, there's story now. This universe has lore. I never thought I would say that about an NSFW game. In the great cosmo of space, there are two um very thirsty ladies that when they get their period, they go on a rampage destroying planets. Yeah, I'm, I'm not making this thing up. I mean, I, I literally cannot make this up. But I am the chosen one, so this mission is mine. And we start by banging a girl. And I'm playing as a f boy now. Oh, thanks, man. I really needed that. Wait, you're, you're still here? You know the window's over there. I mean, it's a few feet drop, but it's fine. You'll survive, I think. Oh, f off, you piece of shit. <laughs> you're lucky I don't have time to come over there and beat your ass. I have a crazy early flight tomorrow. My boss is sending me out to some island for an exotic shoot. Then I'm supposed to meet up with this tele-Uber chick for a cross-promo we've been planning. <sighs> it's not easy being a world-class fashion model, you know? <laughs> hey, hey, leave the panties, okay? I collect them. Look, I have an issue, okay? Can't help you there, Perv. I borrowed this lingerie from the company. I'm pretty sure they need it back. They haven't even released this line yet. Now, where did you throw my clothes? Ah, there they are. Well, 
Aren't you at least gonna walk me back to my car? Oh, yes, your majesty. It would be my honor. Shall I carry your belongings too? Oh, damn, I mean, I'm, I'm really sorry for dropping your stuff. Oh, crumpet. What is this piss? Oh god, forget you man. Last time I asked you for anything. Later sweet cheeks. Keep that thing nice and hard for me for when I get back. Oh yeah, I'll keep my meat hard. Ha well, 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 look at this mother f***er. Hey, your wings are finally moving. They're not props anymore. I leave you alone for a year or two and you're banging models on the reg? I really am a miracle worker. <laughs> She's the tense girl this week. Look, I think I broke my dick by now. This week? Boy, it's only Tuesday. Don't you have, like, a job to go to? My job is pleasing women. And y'all take an alcohol free as cider, please? Thank you. I live life for the pleasure, for the most freshest of the f boys. Le douche bag. Not responsible for turning instant virgins into douchebags. Damn, son! Looks like I might be right about you after all. Look, I'm gonna cut right to the chase because time isn't exactly on our side here. Some seriously crazy shit is about to pop off and we need your help to stop it. Look, and, and, I mean, as long as it involves my genitalia and a pleasurable boy, then count me in. Are you, are you just gonna say it like that? Hey, look, pleasure is pleasure. Jeez, what a perfect. Get me a cider, please. Get one yourself. Of course it involves your genitalia. You think I'd be here if it didn't? To make a long story short, there are these two, like, evil space hookers that are about to be awoken. And if they don't get some wicked good dick, they're probably gonna destroy the galaxy. And that would really suck because Earth has some of the finest babes in the universe, next to Tendricide. You see, part of my job as a love fairy is to find a worthy hero among all the pathetic virgins. Unfortunately, we couldn't find one, so you'll have to do instead. Yeah, let's go! I can't believe you humans have to get into big machines just to do something as simple as flying. I hate to say it, but if it wasn't for all the honey you guys generate, you'd be pretty useless. I have to remind you that a mere mortal human like me is going to save the entire galaxy. So what is your problem now? I appreciate the confidence, but don't overestimate yourself, all right? What we're asking you to pork here is unlike anything you've ever porked before. Uh, speaking of which, we should probably fill you in on the plan, huh? We are headed to the beautiful tropical island of Inatepuna. Why? Why, you may ask? Shh, I'm getting to that. You can ask questions when I'm done. You see, the Nymphogen, those are the space hookers, are on the verge of being awoken by their period. If that happens, you can kiss your sorry ass goodbye. So, we need to wake them up before that. There's a volcano on the island called Mount Nymphojaro. Yeah, I don't know who named this shit. Well, I mean, I don't even know why people named the town this. Did, did you actually spend time doing this joke? If we can get that volcano to erupt, it should be enough to awaken the Nymphogen early. But the only way to get that bitch to blow is to offer a sacrifice. A sacrifice of fairy wings. Hey, uh, what are fairy- I'm sure you're wondering, what the hell are fairy wings? I told you to stop asking questions. You ever hear the phrase, whenever a threesome is had, a love fairy gets her wings? Huh. Have I heard that? And, and you know, they mentioned something with like, uh, if you had a threesome, you get some fairy wings and all. Wait, aren't you supposed to be the innocent one? Oh yeah. Innocent. Oh god. How could they do that to you, Pikachu? 
What? Oh, yeah, nothing. Yeah, I have heard that. Yeah, well, that's actually true. So we need to get you mixed up in some menage a trois. As much as I'd love to be more involved, unfortunately, love fairies don't count. Besides, corporate said I have to stop my client. Can you believe that shit? <sighs> now look, locking down a three-way can be tricky. The best way to do it is by going on double dates. Not the lame kind of double date where it's two couples. The cool kind where it's you and two chicks. You'll need some fresh love fairy tech though. That crusty honeybee 4.0 is way out of date. So, da 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 da! Introducing the brand new Honeybee 6XL with threesome compatibility detection package. Go ahead, check it out. When you're done, you can close it by clicking anywhere off the honeybee. Oh wow, that's very specific for a phone. I didn't even know foes could do that. You have a threesome compatibility with Pokemon Trainer and Vaporeon. Excuse me, what? So yeah, we got the new Honeybee, basically a more updated version of the menu from the last game. It includes the girl screen, the finder, stats, gift, store. The usual, well most things kind of work the same as the last game, except the store. Girls at the end of a date will now give seeds. N no, not human seeds. That would be kind of weird. Although this game is kind of weird, but... Anyways, these seeds are used to buy stuff for characters, including food and date gifts. Now you might ask, how does this double date thing change the whole dating mechanic and all that? Well, luckily we have a tutorial that shows us how it works. So apparently we stumble upon Lola. Remember that girl from the first game? Well, here she is again and she wants a fun time in the bathroom of a plane. Yeah, I would like to know if it's legal to actually um, make love in the airplane bathrooms. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's legal. Oh, oh okay. Oh, wait, why is your name Security Clone? Oh, I'm sorry. That information is kind of confidential. I'm the one that made you. And so what? I'm allowed to have my own secrets, you know. Okay. And this is where we learn a double date mechanic. So take the main gameplay from the first and add a new thing, known as stamina. You see, you can't focus entirely on one girl. I mean, that would just be the sad for the third person. Now, if you match too much on one girl, that girl becomes tired until her stamina bar is up to four again. You can, however, match these stamina tokens to refuel the girl. You're focused on stamina. And you can continue doing whatever romancing thing you do on a date. You mean talking or being romantic? What? Is that what you're supposed to do on a date? I, th I just thought you Netflix and chilled. No, 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 that's what you do on Tinder. Oh. Also, remember the passion tokens? Yeah, now you have to fill those up for both girls. Yeah, this game gets hard. I mean, not as hard as Celeste, but it definitely gets hard. Hey, David, when are you going to do the sea sites in Celeste? Oh my, I swear to God. So I'm going to be honest. The gameplay in this game is so much more fun than the first game. And the thing is, there's a specific game mechanic we haven't seen yet, but all in good time. Hey, like losing your virginity. Now please leave me alone. <laughs> Another day destroyed. Anyways, here we are at Ina de Puna. Yeah, if, if you couldn't realize or didn't bother to use a in translator, that, that, means, that means inside of the pussy. This game has a bit of more sexual tension than the first game. Then again, you are a professional woman pleaser in this game, so... Ah, uh, Ina de Puna, where the melons are juicy and the fish are plenty. Hey, hey, could you go five minutes without making an innuendo? What? That's literally the slogan for the island. It's right there on the sign behind you. Wait, really? Huh. You know what? Fair game. Also, no. What the f is that? Hey, look over there. Isn't that your little sex buddy from home? How convenient is that? Um, dude, stalk much? <laughs> what in the f are you doing here? 
Oh, what the heck are you doing here? <laughs> Good diversion me. Don't even try to give me that shit. You knew I was coming out here, didn't you? Dude, if you wanted to fly out here with me, all you had to do was ask. If I'd have known you were coming, I wouldn't have had to explain my vibrator to security. Wait, security ask for that? Security clone, what do you have to say on that? Sorry, ma'am, you can't have that here, man. No, don't do that. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that, this is a birthday party plane. So yeah, Ashley and Lola are the first girls you meet. However, they're not the first two girls you date. Anyway, let's continue meeting the other girls. So we're at a hotel and we have to check in. And this is where we meet the best girl. I'm not even kidding. In my book, this next girl is like the best one. Pretty sweet digs, huh? If you're gonna try to save the galaxy, you might as well do it in style. Good evening. Welcome to Lovely Hotel. My name is Lailani. How may I be of service? I can think of a few ways this cutie pie could be of service to me. <laughs> Give me your most glorious and expensive room. I do have a lot of frolicking I need to do. <laughs> this is another company going bankrupt. <laughs> I can't wait to get richer. Oh, why do I keep drinking this piss? Oh, uh, that would be the royal suite. I'm afraid that room isn't available tonight. Mother flipper! Hey, look, there's a lot of censoring in this video. I, I might as well just not curse for my own health. But I do have a great room for you on the second floor. It has a nice view and a big bed. I think you'll find it to be quite suitable. Excuse me briefly while I retrieve your key card. Okay, you're all set. Here's your key card. Oh, thanks. You know, I'm beginning to regret a bit this adventure. The room number is written on the back. If you need anything else, please don't hesitate to ask. That's what we're here for. I mean, a massage would be nice. Then you'll be quite happy to learn that we have a massage bar right here within the resort. You can go there anytime to make an appointment with one of our therapists. You might even get me. <laughs> the elevator is behind you to your right. Enjoy your stay and have a wonderful night. And here we go once again. If you didn't want to date girls, well, what are you doing here? This is Huddy Pub, not Doki Doki Literature Club. God damn it. So as the first date, I of course selected Ashley. I'm beginning to think that I just have a thing where I do not choose to select my favorite girl as the first date. Oh, well, here I go. So the first date I have is with Ashley and Polly. And whoo, boy. So um, here's some info to you guys. Before this game released, Polly was announced as a transgender woman. Basically, she had a dick. People were not a fan of that, and it created controversy. The dev later said in another announcement that there would be an option to have Polly be a transsexual or not. I personally think that it's kind of stupid that this whole thing became a controversy, I mean. But then again, I'm not Twitter. I'm David. So yeah, that was some fun facts. Back to dating. Hey, I'm glad you're here. This is perfect. You know that famous telly Uber chick I mentioned? Well, I'm meeting her here any minute now to plan our collab video. It just so happens we're gonna need a camera guy. So, make yourself useful, will ya? Oh yeah, I'm a great camera guy. Oh, is that a bumblebee? Oh, beautiful. Sorry, what were we saying? Think of it as an opportunity to pay me back for everything I do for you. Or everything I let you do to me, to be exact. <laughs> Hey, and look, as I told you, I wanted to see what the water sport fetish was. And I'm deeply disturbed by it. Whoa, okay, that's a bit too much for 80s for me. Oof. No, my, Michael Jackson is already dead. Oh my gosh, Ashley. I can't believe we finally get to meet in person. Well, if it isn't Polly Bendelson herself, it's great to meet you, girlfriend. This is so exciting. I've wanted to collab with you ever since I first saw your quickie pick page. Believe me, the feeling is mutual. It's a huge opportunity for us both. By the way, I'd like you to meet my friend here. He's my new camera guy. Oh my, what a handsome young man. <laughs> I'm Polly. Delighted to make your acquaintance. The geography is but one of my many talents. Oh, is that so? Well, I'm very much looking forward to discovering your other talents. Ah, sh**. You know what? I forgot my tripod. Hold on, I'll be right back. Two minutes tops. 
Well, take your time, girl. It's a chance for me to get to know your cute friend better. <laughs> huh. That's weird. How come the honeybee isn't registering this chick? No, wait. There it goes. Huh. That's never happened before. Must be a bug or something. Anyway, I'm getting a traditional vibe from this broad. She's probably looking for a classy guy. So try to wait at least 10 f seconds before you whip your dick out. Can you do that? So, how do you get your hair to stand like that? Are you using some hair gel like a, one of those anime characters? <laughs> you could say I'm a bit of an expert when it comes to hair and makeup. I run a beauty channel called Polly's Paradise. You ever hear of it? Nah, I usually only go on there to watch people play video games. Hey, look, you can't look at like that in me, okay? You've been watching Twitch, I know! So I've already explained how the dates work, so let's just go through the dialogue and all that. Oh, if you think that the first game had a lot of dialogue, whew, you're gonna be surprised. This game has about the double that amount of dialogue. Oh yeah, small note, do you remember the fact that you needed to play four dates before you could get inside the pants of a girl? Well, this time you just need two successful dates before you have a threesome. However, this time it doesn't happen in a bedroom. Most of the times these sessions happen in public, like aquariums. Fun for the whole family. So I continue finding other people that were compatible with Ashley, and here we are at the airport. Oh, hey, came to see me off, huh? How sweet. You're a real Romeo. Wish I could have stayed longer, but duty calls. See you when I see ya. <laughs> nah, I'm just f***ing with ya. I'm actually waiting for my little cousin to arrive. Well, you have a cousin? Incest alert, incest alert, oh, incest shit. alert, alert. To incest that alert. When my aunt heard I was gonna be out of town for a while, she begged me to take her off her hands. I figured, sure, why not? I'm sure my aunt could use the break. My cousin can be... Uh, a handful. Speak of the devil, there she is! Hey Lil, over here! Wow, why does everyone dress so revealing here? I mean, I get it, summer and... Oh wait, no, people under my age already do that here. Good to see you, cuz. How was the flight? Um, like, literally the worst experience of my entire life? You say that about everything. Lighten up a little. You're in a tropical paradise. Look, she's a goth teen. I mean, I can't say anything else because, you know, goths are actually quite varied in how they act. Whatever. I didn't ask to come here. My mom forced me to come because she f hates me. <laughs> Lillian, your mom does not hate you. I wish the plane would have crashed. Maybe then she'd finally be happy. All right, drama queen, calm down, calm down. It'll be fun, you'll see. Before we do anything though, is there a bathroom around here? I got pee. Hey, sweet cheeks, entertain my cousin for a minute, will ya? I'll be right back. Oh great, now we're stuck babysitting Count Snatula. Didn't the goth thing go out of style like six million years ago? <laughs> Actually, the golf style is getting a bit more uh, popular with the help of the internet. I, I gotta get her straight facts straight. I mean, come on. I don't know, man. The dark priestess here is looking a little fresh, if you know what I mean. You might want to try to find out how old she is. Cool tattoos. Did you get your parents' permission for them? <laughs> As if. They never let me do anything. You don't need to babysit me, okay? I'm not a f***ing kid, I'm 18! Oh, you're 18? That's perfect for driving me around when I'm drunk on alcohol-free cider. But there isn't even any alcohol in that. Hey, would you like to shut up? Phew! We're all clear for takeoff! Ugh, this is gonna be so boring. What is there even to do at this place? I mean, you can always go swimming, sailing, shopping, there's tons to do. Or I could just kill myself. It's not like anybody would care. Oh yeah, there's rope that down, wait, that way down to the right. I mean, no, don't, don't do it. Maybe I'll just get wasted and let a bunch of guys have their way with me. Now that sounds fun. 
Uh, you don't need, need to include me in that, though. I'm, I'm not really interested in seeing other men's dicks. Do you think my parents would like that? <laughs> yeah, I'll show him. Screw you, Ma! All right, I'm not a girl. I can't get my body ruined by men. I mean, I could. But on second thought, I don't really want to now. Smooth. Ugh, looks like Ash is finally done. That only took my entire life. Wow, that was a short life you had. Wait, what was that? Five minutes or something? I call next dibs! I've been holding it for like 30 minutes. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the wait. I hope she wasn't too much of a hassle for ya. Uh, can we go now? I'm hungry. In a minute, Lil. They haven't even started returning people's luggage yet. <sighs> Please kill me. What do you want? Hey, look, I don't support this. I just, it's just the only jokes I can do with this girl. So yeah, Lillian is kind of interesting. I mean, really likes the death thing. Man, she just has to be happy that Jigsaw doesn't live in this place. I mean, the first thing that would happen to her would be kidnapped and that, you know, being trapped. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention another thing. After you date girls in this game, you don't return back to the menu. You immediately move on to two other girls. Yeah, in my opinion, I don't really like this system compared to the first game. Like. In the first game, you actually got to know the girls by going back after the date and talking to them. While compared to this one, you just immediately move on to the next one. It's one of my biggest flaws with this uh, game, is the fact that you don't really get to learn that much about the characters. You get to learn about a lot about the negative things. Next date I went on is with Lailani and Jesse. Yep, same Jesse as the first game, although a bit more depressed. Also, if you haven't noticed yet, some of the girls here are girls from the first game, you know. And there are also a few from Honey Cam Studio. So, some of these we actually already know. Good day, ma'am. Welcome to Lovely Hotel. My name is Lailani. Oh my god, aren't you just the cutest thing? With the little flower in your hair and everything, stop. I love it. <laughs> Me? <laughs> no. It's just part of the uniform. <laughs> I appreciate the compliment, though. How may it be of service to you today? Just checking in, sweetheart. The last name is May. Excellent. Thank you, Mrs. May. Give me just one moment to pull up your reservation. Technically, it's just Miss, but please, call me Jessie. Yes, of course. My apologies, Miss Jessie. Stop it. Miss Jessie, how f***ing adorable is that? Uh, I can't stand it. <laughs> okay, you're all checked in. Excuse me briefly while I retrieve your keycard. Oh, no way! The porn milf is here too? Who knew all this classic cooch would be here just right for the sticking? Is it just me or... Is she even more naked than usual? Hey look, every single girl in this game is more naked than the usual. I mean, it's like they, they really have to show the cleavage. It's hard to tell because most of the time I'm watching videos of her like, a hundred percent naked. Speaking of which, I've seen some stuff where she's with like, seven or eight dudes. Oh, so she's done this type of thing. So, a threesome ought to be like a day off for her. Look, Jessie. I know I'm handsome. Dude, have you looked in the mirror? No, let me, um, let me, let me just do it. I look amazing! Jesse, I know I'm handsome and amazingly beautiful. You can't follow me around like this. Only I can do that. <gasps> oh my god! Are you serious? Hi, it's so good to see you. What are you doing here? <laughs> Now I'm just here to soak up the sun and get some good ol' rest and relaxation. What about the mission with the fairy wings? How about you stop shouting over every sentence I say? It's, it is getting a bit annoying. You're annoying! What did you, what did you say, huh? Uh, tell me about it. It's so good to be able to get away from it all for a while, isn't it? I'm meeting up with one of my girlfriends out here for some desperately needed girl time. But hey, since you're here, maybe we can spend some quality time together too. 
Oh yeah, I missed our Mario Kart games. <sighs> no one could beat me in that game. Okay, Miss Jessie, you're all set. Here's your key. Uh, hello again. Do you two know each other? I, you, you could say that. I mean, uh, I sort of used to date her daughter. I mean, her cat. So yeah, these are another compatibility. To be honest, I'm kind of running out of transition jokes here, so uh, let's jump to the next compatibility. So here we are, back in the airport. And here's our girl Lola from the first game. Hmm, I could swear there was a little coffee spot somewhere around here. Wait, shit, now that I think about it, it might be on the other side of security. I'll just slip through the staff entrance real quick, in and out. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm very sorry, but I don't think you're allowed to go that way. Oh no, it's okay. I work for Tropica Airlines. I'm just gonna go grab a coffee. Wow. Uh, uh, ma'am, uh, you're gonna have to show me what's in your bra. Yeah, I mean, if you couldn't notice, uh, Abby is super horny. Like, you just think Twitch chat is bad? Man, she's all levels of 40 that Twitch chat will never achieve. Uh, bags! Uh, I, I have to check your your bags <laughs> for security purposes only. My bags? What are you talking about? I don't even have any bags. I, uh, I'm going to have to ask you to come with me for a b body inspection. Are you kidding me? This is absolutely ridiculous. S sorry, but it's, uh, a Yes, standard policy. <laughs> <sighs> All right, fine, whatever. Let's just get it over with, I guess. Ugh, is this really necessary? Hey, what are you... Where are you... Oh, oh my. Beep, beep, this is not safe for work. This is not correct. Can someone please check my sanity? Well, that was... <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, everything, uh, everything checks out. <laughs> you're free to go on my face. Uh, wait, you're, you're, you're free to go on your way. <laughs> Dude, you can do that? <laughs> I'm in the wrong line of work. Is this chick gonna be okay? She looks like she's about to pop an ovary. I hate to say it, but you might not want to turn her on any more than she already is. As much as I'd like to see her make the floor all slippery, we need her to save that energy for days. Try to distract her by talking about... I don't know. What's a thing that isn't sex? Anime! Oh wait, I don't know a damn about anime. Plus there's hentai. Can you guess what number I'm thinking of? S 69? What type of psychic are you? Yeah, never mind. It's hopeless. Huh? huh? Oh, sorry. Were you saying something? I was a little uh, lost in thought. Look, I was just saying how I admire your dedication to security. Yes, this is a great job. I'm still getting used to the rules, though. I got in trouble yesterday for performing too many uh, searches. I'm really still quite new here. It's only been a month since I, well, uh, since I left my home country. Oh, is there something terrible happening back there? Oh no, is there something terrible happening back there? Look, if there's trouble, then I might as well write something about it. No, it's nothing like that. It's just the people in my country, they're very old fashioned. But I suppose none of that matters anymore. I live here now, on this beautiful island. Where there are lots of beautiful girls wearing b b bikinis and uh, rubbing lotion on themselves. Mmm. Horny. Yeah, I don't really like uh, Abba compared to the other girls. I mean, she just feels like horny Twitch chat. Which is the worst state a Twitch chat can be in. Why can't it always be wholesome? Anyway, the pair I decided to visit next is Lailani, and the worst goddamn character in this game. Also, if you're asking why I'm saying visiting and not meeting, is because you get each time you get an SFFW photo, it, it always seems like you're more of a, 
an assistant, a psychiatrist to this happening. I mean, not all of them are like that, but I'm, most of them feel like that. So that's why I just picture myself as a love god trying to make women screw each other. <laughs> Did I remind you that this game is not safe for work? Anyway, highlight Nani. It's such a peaceful day, isn't it? I don't think anything could disturb this tranquility. Konnichiwa! Oh, Genki Desuka! Oh my god, I hate this girl. She's just the worst! It, it, to be fair, the game does make fun of how she acts later on. Oh, you, you'll see what I mean. Anyway, back to the conversation. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Sorry, I think I got it wrong. But I'm practicing, I promise! Wait, I've seen you around recently. You're the new assistant to Mrs. Bell Rose, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm Suki! Well, that's my Japanese name anyway. Oh my god, okay, can someone please kill her? Just anyone! It's a pleasure to meet you, Suki. I'm Lailani. I work at the hotel. Occasionally the massage spa, too. <gasps> really? I work with a real Japanese girl? Oh, Sukoi! Oh, no, I'm not... You're tan, too, just like me! OMG! Do you also like Yaru fashion? N no, uh... No, I'm actually Paul. Have you been to Shibuya? Or Harajuku? Or Akihabara? What's it like? Will you take me there sometime? Uh... Well, I'd love to, but... I don't... I mean... I'm not... <sighs> I can't believe I'm actually best friends with a tan Japanese girl! <laughs> What's that smell? You smell that? It smells like... Like a f weeb! Ugh, I have to put up with enough of this back home. You think anime is popular down here? You should see Sky Garden. Where do you think the designs for these love fairy uniforms came from? Rescue Hotel Girl before this dweeb makes her watch an entire season of some magical Chan girl shit. Hey, check out this sweet karate move! Hiya! Oh wait, that's from The Legend of Zelda. Whoa, that's amazing! You know karate? Where'd you learn that? Oh, on the SNES. With Link. I, but I do need a sword for it. <gasps> wait, you went to Japan, didn't you? <laughs> what was your favorite part? Oh yeah, the, the vending machines with little panties in it. But why was this the line I pick out of all the options? OMG, they actually have those? Uh-huh, I'm so, 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 so jealous! But, but, but I might be going there soon! Mrs. Bellrose says she'll take me there if I behave myself and do a real good job! Bellrose? That name sounds familiar! Mrs. Bellrose owns the whole resort! She's super rich and super nice! Lailani! When I visit Japan, you'll show me all the best spots, right? Right? Uh, Suki, I don't live in Japan. Ah, it's gonna be super duper fun! <laughs> oh, thank god I don't have to listen to her anymore. By the way, this is a good time to talk about emotional baggages. Each girl has three different emotional baggages. During dates, at least on normal difficulty, each girl would pick one random emotional baggage. These affect gameplay and force you to change up your strategy. I actually like this idea. The more you go on a date with a girl, the more you get to know them and you get to know the negative things about them. And all of the emotional baggages are actually fun playing around, which is why I enjoy this idea. It's such a clever idea and all of the emotional baggages are varied and you have to like think of new strategies to play around with them. So I finally managed to get both Lola and Abia in bed together and I just wanted to mention that the bonus rounds from the last game is basically the same as the bonus round in this game. So nothing new to report here. Anyway, the next pair I meet is Jessie and Brooke, uh, or as we know her, uh, Mrs. Bellrose. Ugh, where did that server go? I feel like I ordered that Mai Tai ages ago. Pardon the interruption, but I couldn't help overhearing you. How long have you been waiting? I'd say it's been at least, what, 20 minutes? <sighs> I apologize for the inconvenience. 
We recently hired new wait staff, and, well, they're still learning. I'll tell you what, don't worry about paying for your next few drinks. It's on the house. Hey, that works for me. I'm not one to complain about free drinks. <laughs> I'm Jessie. Do you own the resort? Name's Brooke. Technically, my husband owns it, but he's back home in the city with the kids. So, I came out here to keep an eye on things. Boy, oy, 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 oy. Is there anything better than a milk? Uh, yeah, two milks! Ah, uh, no, actually, that's, that's not true. Between the two of them, there's enough titty milk to end world hunger! Now I know what you're thinking. But, but, but Kiyu, she's married! <laughs> so? You already railed the blonde one's daughter, so don't tell me you're developing a conscience now. I mean, that is a fair argument. I, I don't need a conscience in this game. Girls, am I the only one craving for milk? Oh, that, that sounded way more disgusting than I thought it would be. Oh, right. Where are my manners? Brooke, this is a good friend of mine. Why, hello there. Pleased to meet you. Are you enjoying your stay here at Lovelay? <laughs> I am now that you're here. God, this game is making me sound like a creep. Well now, is that the case? So, what's the situation here? Are you two <laughs> each other? <laughs> is it that obvious? I know a sugar baby when I see one. He's a cute one, too. Good for you. <laughs> what can I say? I know how to pick them. Isn't that right, sugar baby? Hey, look, you're kind of late on this month's payment. Ooh, a feisty one, too. I like that. Just between us, I'm no stranger to this little arrangement you have here. As a matter of fact, I even brought one of my little toys with me to the island. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so bad. I love it. So yeah, Brooke is, um... Well, let's just say if I had a wife that was willingly would go to bed with other men, yeah, that wouldn't turn out good. Anyway, let's check back on our girl Lola. Hey, um, excuse me, miss? Sorry, what's your name? Okay, what is it with everyone being so revealing in this game? At least in the first game, people had the normal amount of clothes. Who? Me? Uh, Nora, can I help you with something? You cleaned my room earlier this morning, right? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I cleaned a lot of rooms this morning. Okay, well, some jewelry went missing from my room this morning. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Nope. Sorry. Oh. All right. It's just, I could have sworn it was on the nightstand before you came in. I don't know what to tell you, but I didn't take your shit if that's what you're suggesting. Who else could have taken it? You were the only person in the room aside from me. Look, I'm sorry your shit went missing, but I don't appreciate being accused of shit I didn't do. Oh yeah, she definitely took it. Yep, that's one of the advantages of having fairy vision. I can see people with transparent clothing whenever I want. It's clearly in her left pocket. We're not here to solve crimes, though. We're here to sleep with two chicks at the same time. So you gotta de-escalate the situation and get these two to like each other. I mean, did you check the drawer? That's where my Pikachu keeps hiding. I don't know why. Hmm. I seriously doubt it, but I'll go double check just in case. Jesus, what the f is her problem? I mean, you did take them, didn't you? N no. I, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe by accident or something. Wait a sec. Aren't you the guy in room 216? Yo, what the f did you spill on your sheets this morning? Busted! <laughs> uh, uh, the porn channel. Hey, look, I gotta be honest. God damn. The entire sheet was like covered. How many times did you... Never mind. I ain't mad. I'm just trying to figure out how the f*** you managed to do it. No luck. I double-checked everywhere and still couldn't find it. <sighs> Will you at least let me know if you happen to come across it? Yeah, for sure. If it turns off somewhere, I'll let you know. 
So yeah, Nora is your poor rough girl who kind of has to steal to provide her family. If I also remember correctly, I'm pretty sure that Kiana from the first game is Nora's sister. But I'm not entirely sure, and I'm a bit too lazy to actually check the wiki now, so... Anyway, on to the next pair I met. Ugh, where is this chick? Late again as usual. Okay, I'm just thinking that it's a custom to be almost naked on this island by now. Hi there, Nora! Shh, keep it down, will ya? I ain't trying to get caught, alright? Oh, Ren, <laughs> sorry. It's fine, it's fine. Anyway, I got your stuff. You got the money? The cocaine? Did someone say cocaine? Oh god, no, please leave me alone. Well, look, it's a part of my curse. I mean, I need that cocaine, you know? But if it's your curse, wouldn't it always be near you? Wait, does, does that mean under all this time I've been manipulated, tricked? Someone's been sneaking coke close to me? How could someone do that? But look, this video is way too long to have any lore relevant thing, okay? Pl please go and do that somewhere else. Jesus, are you stupid? How many times I gotta tell you to be quiet? Shoot! Sorry, I forgot again. <sighs> Whatever, here's your sh. Yay! <laughs> Ugh, I give up. By the way, Who's that guy over there watching us? Oh no, my stocking has been decovered. Pack your bags, you party, we can't stay here. What? Shit. Run! Nora, where are you going? Whoa, who is this angel? She's like an 11, no, a 12? Fuck. This is the kind of chick that's so hot, you almost wouldn't mind getting the hurt from her, you know? Like, this bitch is so hot, I would pay her just to spit in my face. I would suck her knee. Sorry, is, is that a thing? I would chug a two liter of her genital juice like I was a competitive eater. Okay, please stop with your terrible metaphors. They're god awful. Hi there, handsome. You just gonna stand there? Are you gonna come talk to me? I'd introduce myself, but I forgot my name as soon as I laid eyes on you. <laughs> That's okay. I forget words all the time. Especially them big fancy ones. She's dumb too? Bro, I can't. I think I'm in love. My name's Candace. I'm a dancer at the strip club. You should come and visit me. How much do you charge for lap dance? I need to know for a friend. Mm, depends on the night. I think tomorrow it's two for one songs. If you want, I'll blow you behind that building for 20 bucks. Well, so much for these panties. I'm gonna go change. Nobody have sex while I'm gone. Well, shoot, I don't have any cash on me right now. No, actually, legit, while writing the script, uh, my money got stolen from me. Life is fun! Anyway, if you could probably realize it, Candace isn't the sharpest tool in the shed. No, 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 stop. I can't do it with, with your carpet. Hey, now, you're a rock star. Yeah, Candace is one of the girls I like a bit more from this game. I, I just like how dumb she is. It's, it's kind of a cute trait of her. I mean, I don't, I wouldn't say she's the love of my life. Uh, but I can see why people would enjoy her as a character. Anyway, who, who's, the, who's the next person? Who's the... who's that? Oh! We get to meet a really weird girl now. Ugh, they don't even have a star brand here? Where am I supposed to get a chai tea? There is a place a few stores back that way. They sell most of the same drinks as Starbrand. Oh, um, thanks, I guess. I'll go check it out. Whoa! Get a load of this chick! I thought you banged the alien girl last time! <laughs> I kid, I kid! Hey, look, I think the furry one is a bit more concerning than the alien one. I mean, they're both weird, but you know why you're here. Uh, did she just say what I think she said? 
You're here to awaken them, right? The cosmic ones? Wait, how do you know about the name to answer me? I'm not sure. I don't fully understand what's going on. You see, I've had dreams. I've seen things. Things I can't explain. I believe that I may have some kind of connection with the spirit world. Oh, I get it. She's a crazy person. I don't know why, but I knew I had to come here to Ina Depuna and seek you out. Me? Why me? Why not my good friend Jim? J Jim? Jim? Jimbo? Jim, come over here. You have been chosen, have you not? Yes, you're the figure from my dreams. You're talking to one of them now, aren't you? The butterfly people? Okay, now I'm officially creeped out. I've seen what happens if you should fail your task. And so, I wish to help in any way I can. Hey, have you ever been on a double date before? I don't socialize often, but I will agree to participate in the necessary rituals. If I sense compatibility between myself and another, I will do my best to attract her. I don't know who this bitch is or how she knows any of this shit, but I ain't asking questions. We need all the help we can get. Besides, she's pretty cute once you get past the crazy thing. That only took forever. Of course they had to get my order wrong the first time. And Starbucks for ya. I'm basically any coffee shop for ya. Yes, I feel a strong connection with this one. May I ask your name? Who? Me? Um, Lillian? That's a beautiful name for a beautiful soul. I was born Denise, but I go by Zoe now. Okay... Okay, I don't know how this is compatibility, but what I do know is last time I had a girlfriend was millennia ago. Anyway, the next pair I began meeting was Lailani and Lillian. God, those names are basically the same. Um, okay, that's kind of like bullshit though. Like, I just want to order a mojito. I'm very sorry, miss, but unfortunately we're not allowed to serve alcohol to anyone under 21. I already told you, I'm 22. It's right here on my ID. Duh. Uh, right. About the ID you gave me, I'm afraid we can't accept it. Okay, but like, why not? I don't mean to accuse you of anything, but the picture doesn't look anything like you. Ugh, just forget it. I guess I'll just sit here and die of thirst. Cause clearly that's what everybody wants. Yeah, this compatibility is a bit weird. I mean, to be honest, it just feels like it's forcing people together by now. New compatibility detected between you, Radical Dude, and Gambling Clone. Yeah, I'm officially putting this on mute. After that weird encounter, I decided to check back on Candace. Hi there, Abia. Oh, um, uh, hi Candace. I ain't seen you come by the club for a few days. Are you alright? You ain't sick, are ya? N no, it's nothing like that. I just have to save my money so I can pay my rent this month. <laughs> Whenever I go to the th strip club, I have a t tendency to uh, uh, spend my entire paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're my favorite customer in the whole world. Come see me soon, okay? I'll do that thing you like where I bite your ear. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, half of these compatibilities are getting lazy. I mean, I'm not even new meeting new people. Oh, right. I've already met everyone that is new. Um, then on to next pair! Jesse, there you are! Hey, girl, I was starting to wonder if we'd ever find each other. Ah, my sweet Lola. How you doing, girlfriend? I missed you. Oh, I missed you too, babe. 
Sorry I've been so busy the past few months. Things have just been crazy lately. But hey, I promised you that rain check, and did your girl deliver or what? I gotta admit, this vacation was one of your more brilliant ideas. I really needed it. Aw, are things between you and Tiffany still a little rocky? They mentioned Tiffany! They mentioned my best girl! Ah. Oh. <sighs> mm hmm And on top of that, now she has me blocked on social media, too. Aw, don't worry, Angel Face. She'll come around, you'll see. For now, just enjoy yourself, girl. We're on vacation. I mean, compared to other compatibilities that we get now, this one actually makes sense as both girls know each other from the first game. So, you know, the whole relationship here makes sense. By the way, I think this is a really good time to mention how freaking amazing the music in this game is. Like, it has an electro rock vibe to it with some 80s mixed in, and boy does it fit the tropical setting. I'm just gonna say it straight up, but this game has my favorite soundtrack of all the three games. It's just a banger soundtrack. Here's some examples. Okay, so I'm gonna skip the rest of these uh, encounters and all that because they're only just about two lines or something before you actually get into the thing, so let's just skip to the end of the game here. Now you might ask, when we have this story, does it end in some way? Like, like the last game had you trying to get laid with the god of love herself, I mean, is it that different here? Well this time you do actually have a boss of some sort. When you finally get 22 fairy wings, you can challenge the Nymphogen. When you do that, you have a four-phased date where they copy the bodies of eight different girls you have met throughout your journey. And that includes the fact that they also have some of their emotional baggage. Now, you need to be really good at these puzzles to defeat these two because <laughs> this fight is not easy. When you finish them, you get some rewards. Yeah, I'm not showing those. Oh, and, and Q also gives you a reward of her butt. Man, well, it was fun while it lasted. Oh, there you are. School is soon stu- are you still doing this? Months. I mean, it's just been a few hours. But look, sir, I, I don't want to be like that person, but it's like August now. So much time really pass. Oh, oh God. So many projects. The roguelike part video part two. The, the third Rayman video. All projects that I have missed time on now. I have to end this game so no one else gets trapped in the same situation as I. Ah, finally no one has to deal with that game anymore. Yellow? What about that visual novel? No! You never see it coming! 